Welcome to this week's Hymn of the Week. This week we have ELW 470, Draw Us in the Spirit's Tether. And what's interesting is I just sang the tune, Bring Calferia, which uh, is really a beautiful tune, but that was the original, one of the original tunes this text uh, by Percy Deemer was set to. And um, Deemer put this text, of course, one of the major um, hymn editors, uh, general editor of the English hymnal, right? And so when he set this text, he originally added it to the verses with the text, Lord enthroned in heavenly splendor. So the bring Calferia originally had Lord enthroned in heavenly splendor, first begotten from the dead. And then he added after it, draw us in the spirit's tether. Uh, and it has, if you think about it, this tune has, as um, Percy Deemer said, a sh very strong individuality of its own. And so uh, eventually, I think what happened was it became uh, set, or it was set with Harold Friedel's tune, Union Seminary, which was named for the School of Sacred Music at Union Seminary in New York City. Union, of course, Union, Union Seminary really fits this text, I think, greatly. And it originally was conceived as a choral anthem in, in 1957, of course, with the text, Dross and the Spirit's Tether. So, uh, we're going to keep it very simple in registration because of the way this was composed as a choral anthem. It has such beauty, the moving lines. Uh, it it's totally has a different... Uh, I would say not style, but it even has a different meter, but it also has a different feel than the Lord enthroned in heavenly splendor. And for some, I think the Lord enthroned in heavenly splendor makes a better post-communion hymn, where the dross in the spirit's tether makes a more communion hymn. So here's dross in the spirit's tether.
Definitely very thankful for Percy Diemer and his editing of the English hymnal. Uh, gave us such great texts and uh, a lovely choral anthem if you have a chance to sing it with your choir. This uh, hymn definitely has a different significance for me uh, during a pandemic where we can't always take communion as often as we used to. And so it's helpful to remember, then with thanks to God the giver, taking from the text here, break the bread and bless the cup. All our meals and all our living make us sacraments of you. So each one of those ones, obviously we should never ever take um, any time we take uh, communion for granted. But it reminds me of that phrase um, has such different power, particularly at this time in 2020. Thank you very much for listening to Hymn of the Week. Thank you.